Hello, talented souls. This is Luna with my cat, Angel, in this view and my dog as well. So there you go, there you go. <laughs> uh, we are here in this beautiful field of bluebells because they only last, you can only see them once a year. They last only for two weeks and then they disappear. And they are special. They have a beautiful smell. The color is like, uh, you know, indigo. It's a very a spiritual flower, <laughs> okay? It reminds me of Archangel Michael. I don't know, it's, it's beautiful color. And I thought to start the video in this way. Today, I'm going to cover uh, a reading that I did before, uh, but uh, this time we're going to focus in the next three to six months, okay? Um, any prediction, any advice from, uh, you know, our higher self, our angels, our guys, in terms of where we need to focus or what's going to happen in the next three to six months. And I have used uh, the combination between Eastern and Western astrology. Okay. And the way that this work is, for example, if you are, uh, well, obviously Eastern astrology is based on year. Western astrology is based on the month that you were born. So I combine in the best way possible. If you feel that uh, this combination is, uh, you know, that I did is not perfect to you, I recommend you watch the two videos then. The video that talks about your Western uh, sign and the video that talks about your uh, Eastern sign. Regardless, if the combination is, um, is perfect, well, it's perfect. You can, uh, for example, uh, suggest for the next video, you know, uh, your combination, I will be happy to do it. As this has been suggested by Andre, um, one of my followers and my subscribers. Thank you so much for your suggestions. Thank you so much for chatting with me. I appreciate you following and everyone that follows uh, my videos. Uh, it's truly a blessing to be connecting with you, to be able to help. And if you're new to my channel, this is a channel that focuses on igniting your talent, um, helping you to share your light, your own light. And uh, with that, um, I will start the reading right now. Um, hope you like it. Uh, and yes, I see you in a minute. Thank you so much. Hello, dear rabbits and Pisces. Okay, um, let's kick off. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, six decks, okay? This is going to tell us your main energy. Uh, these are the tarot deck. We're going to see, you know, the current situation, where you are right now and what is coming. And then um, the main person that you need to pay attention to, okay? The energy that you need to work on or you need to highlight and advice from Archangel Metatron, okay? And that's the plan. So let's see what message Spirit has for us for the signs of rabbit and Pisces. As I said, you can be a rabbit, you can be a Pisces, you can be both. So take what resonates. The most important thing is that, um, um, you know, that you can have, uh, you can watch two videos, you know, <laughs> if you are a rabbit or a Pisces and then something else, okay? Okay, let's start. Because I'm going to shuffle today, I'm going to shuffle with you uh, on the camera. So let's see the overall energy for rabbit and pisces right now what a spirit want to share with you that you need to work on or you need to um let's say no for the for now and the next few months you know that's how i'm seeing i'm seeing this for the next three to six months potentially okay so what is the overall energy um for rabbit and pisces the blade Oh my goodness me, I love it. Number six, look at this beauty. Okay, I'm not going to say anything because I want to see the spirit animal. I want this and an spirit animal. I want something very earthy because of what's going on right now, you know, so I'm trying to be channeling earth messages. Okay, the moth spirit, surrender now. Nine, 39, uh, is a 12, is a three. Okay, so this is this is your overall energy right now. And what I can, what the message that is getting is that, um, <laughs> okay, the message I'm getting that you're trying to fight very hard. Okay, this is the blade. It's like a tool, you know, for fighting. It's, uh, this is a deck that is the, um, 
the mystical shaman oracle and it's all about uh you know um very very much uh, sh yeah, shamanic shamanic kind of uh, you know deck um so the idea is that uh, you're trying to fight very hard and this is a message that you need to surrender you're not going to win every single fight that you go for and we're, when we're talking about fight sorry i'm going when i'm talking about fight is a is not a literal message i'm saying that you are doing multiple things uh at this you're doing too many things okay so this is the moon phases as well which also you know i'm i i'm kind of um um paying attention to that because it's like uh you are thinking you know when this is going to end how many months more how many uh, how many uh yes how many months uh when this is going to when this cycle is going to end so you are in an attitude that you're going to fight you're going to fight very hard you're going to take uh, more than you can okay but a spirit is telling you that you need to relax that you need to surrender a little bit you know and this is the most um the moth is also a little bit of, uh, for me, it reminds me of the um, the butterfly. So it's a little bit of transformation going on uh, for you during this process, no? This process that you're trying to, um, you know, uh, fight for as many things as uh, as possible. Example, keeping the, uh, you know, keeping the supply, you know, the food, keeping the work, keeping the kids happy, keeping the husband happy, uh, taking care of the house, you know, I kind of had get a lot of feeling of uh, overwhelming which is you know what i'm what you know connects a lot uh, as well with many of us okay so the idea is it's very good to be more targeted go exactly for the things that are more important be patient this is a cycle this is going to end it's like the moon cycle the moon is constantly evolving into a different cycle. This is going to end on a new brand day with a new, you know, the sun comes out every single day. Okay, so the sun will kind of still come out every single day. This will be a cycle. You have to be more targeted and surrender uh, to, I mean, surrender to the things that are most important right now. Maybe you stop doing some things and just spend some time with the kids or spend some time with your uh, partner um, on those lines, okay? Just not try to fight every single battle, okay? That's the message. But you are very, you are very solid, okay? So what I'm getting is that you are very strong. That's why you try to, you know, obviously you are in that energy, so you are right now in that energy because you're very strong. I mean, you're very, you're, you're someone that people, you know, rely on. Okay, the blaze. I'm going to read what the blade, you know, says. Represents sharpness of the mind, body and spirit. Pointing up, upwards, it summons the power of heaven. When aimed down to the ground, it utters the power of the heaven on earth. The blade can be a healing tool or a weapon. Yes. You have to be targeted. That's what I'm what I'm saying. Will it wisely and it will transmit power. Best of initiation. Cut energy cords from the past or serve toxic relationships. Use it with anger and it will slash, stab and kill. Use it with hope and it will be totally, totally, uh, you know, a work from heaven. You know, meaning like you will achieve amazing things. You will feel the sun on your on your face. That's, that's the overall energy that you are in. Okay? Let's see more. Dear Rabbit and Pisces. Oh my God, but you're very intelligent. That's what I'm getting. Okay? Uh, you need to surrender. Not every single battle. Be sharp in terms of which battles are you going to choose. Okay? That's the real, that's the, the let's say, the more clear message. Okay, Ace of Cup. This is where are you at the moment? You are feeling love, so much love. That's why you're becoming, you know, this fighter, because you're fighting for love. You're fighting for the things that you love. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're following your passions. Look at this. You're following your passion. Yes, you're trying to do a job that... Um, um, I am getting the message that you, some of you are trying, are trying to do something that will trans transcend generations. Okay? It's very important for you. Something that will transcend generations. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, girls. I say guys because I love the world, guys. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, this is the story. This is the story. Whatever you are, whatever you need to target, go firstly, 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 firstly. Okay, it's a cycle. Okay, it's a cycle. But you have the passion. Sorry, the passion, the emotional strength, and the emotional awareness, and the emotional uh, um, power. And you have the coins. I mean, guys, this is three different. Three different, uh, let's say, you have the emotions, the passion, and the, you know, the energy and the power. And then you have the success with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. And it says, I welcome new love and trust uh, what it brings. I'm inspiring to follow my passion. I celebrate everything that I achieve. Okay. Two messages here. If you're targeting for love, Okay, if you're targeting for love, this is a message that um, surrender, <laughs> meaning it you already have it. Okay, you already have it, it in the traditional tarot. Also, this Ten of Pentacles is all about, uh, you know, happy family. Okay, happy family is the picture of, uh, you know, uh, yeah, of, uh, of a happy family. Okay, so you have everything that, that, you, that you have already. Okay. But I'm getting, you know, for some of you, it's about keeping really, really strong and really strong in terms of achieving your goals, achieving, you know, um, the, 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 um, achieving the something important with regards of your work. Okay. Something important with regards of your work that involves your emotions is very emotional because the situation is that, again, you are overtasking, I mean, multitasking, you're trying to do a lot of things and you really want to give a, the best chance to this new beginning that you are in. Okay. This is a new beginning from a, uh, from a, a career perspective, from a, maybe a, you have a new idea that you're trying really to put forward. Okay. So the main thing is you need to focus Okay, you need to be very targeted because you have all the tools and you are succeeding already. I have the feeling that you don't see that much that, but that is already happening. And it's a cycle like the moon. Okay, but this is amazing. This is amazing. The next month for you are a month of personal emotional fulfillment, um, career fulfillment and material success. Okay, material success. Next one, eight of swords. Yeah, because you were in your mind. That's what I'm getting. Uh, four of pentacles, whatever you're doing, it gives solid, solid, solid base. You know, I trust I'm always safe and protected. You bring solid base with whatever you're building. And then the queen of pentacles. Oh my God, so beautiful. Okay, okay. This is like a blade and this is like a blade. I hope you can see all the cards. Yes, you can see. Okay. This is only telling me that you're, um, um, that you sometimes, you know, overthink things. Okay. And this is, uh, you know, and because it's under the Ace of Cups, it's overthinking more from an emotional perspective. Okay. Um, will they like what I'm doing? Will they don't like? It's more about worries about the other people, you know, what they're going to think. Will they love me? Will they not love me? I mean, because this could be love, could be work, but I'm focusing a lot on the career because it's the things that, um, you know, uh, I tend to channel more. And, well, this is what the message from Spirit sends to me, okay? <laughs> um, so, um, the eight of swords is your mental worries about the emotional, let's say, will they take this or will they not take this? I mean, this is mental, okay? And it's not realistic. From my point of view, this is all in your mind. And the Ace of Cup is such a powerful card. So, do not worry about that. You worry about if your project will be stable enough, it's whatever you are going forward, it will be stable and it will give you a stability from a point of view economic. Because you feel like, okay, I'm achieving success right, success right now. Will it last? Will it be solid? I'm getting for some of you, this is long lasting, this transient generation. So whatever you're doing, this is like, a, this is some, something that you have in your mind for a very long time and now is materializing. Okay. So bottom line, the current situation is helping you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. It's helping you because your idea is more successful in a context. I mean, your idea is really, I mean, and your work is really a speed up under the current climate. So you need to take advantage of that climate, okay? The environment climate. I mean, maybe if you see this uh, reading now in the coronavirus time, it doesn't matter. 
because there will be something going on in the background that will help you to uh, something on the environment that will help you to launch your uh, idea and your products and your work. Okay. A lot of vibe of entrepreneur here. Okay. Uh, more than anything else. This is an entrepreneurial thing. Okay. You will achieve the, the solid base. Okay. And then, you know, the queen of pentacles is so, so happy. You will be so happy with what you have. I have everything I need to prosper. Uh, you will be so happy that you have done and you put the extra effort, that you focus, okay? That you surrender to the things that you cannot control, okay? Because you need to focus on the main things. You need to focus on the main objective. You need to be very targeted, okay? Because this, you will get a very quick success. It will be a lot of money, it will be a lot of, uh, let's say, of uh, rewards. And then you will worry a little bit because you will think, okay, okay, this is temporary because this is the condition outside. This is the environment. This is coronavirus, whatever, whatever. The message here is no, no. You will get the solid base. The solid base will remain there, okay? And you become the queen of pentacles, meaning that you will achieve uh, the success that you... Uh, and I mean, the queen becomes a queen not from day to night. The queens become, becomes a queen. Well, we have some stories I'm thinking right now. We have some stories about queens that uh, were queens at uh, 15 years old. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you're very young, okay? And you become a queen. But what I'm saying is like you're a hardworking queen. I mean, you're a queen that becomes queen because of your own talent and your own success. Not because other put the title on you. You know what I mean? It's like you become a queen because of what you do. Okay. Uh, although we love to read the queen, but <laughs> I mean, like a proper, I mean, like the queen of England, or whatever, but it's not like that. You know, that title was given in your case, it was working and work very hard. Okay. And you, you get there, you get there. Okay. You win the title. Okay. Okay. So I'm picking up who is going to help. I love these cards because it's always, uh, you know, remind me. I don't know. I get the vibes of other people that surround you. And I really like. So I'm thinking on the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Who is helping the Queen of Pentacles right now? Or who she needs to take attention to? Because it's very important in her journey. Okay. Master Jesus, forgiveness. Okay. You're in the path of light, love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Okay. It's your father. <laughs> Uh, Jesus, Jesus, let me tell you, I get two things. I mean, this is a general reading. I think some of you is your father, although because Jesus is the father of everyone. So I'm getting, it's not, it's not a real father because he didn't have kids, but he's a father of everyone. So you have, uh, some of you have an spiritual or let's say a mentor, a coach, someone very, very senior. Uh, sorry, not very senior. It's someone young, obviously. Uh, Jesus died at 33. So maybe he's a 33 years old. Mm, I'm getting for some of you. He's someone young. This is general reading, so I don't want to be specific. Is uh, a mentor. Is someone that trained some people before. Is someone that is very connected with the industry. Someone that understand. Someone that see your 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 talent. Someone that is mentoring. And for, and it's kind of a father figure for you in the sense that you look after them because they have achieved a lot of success. And the other thing is. Um, they have achieved a lot of success and the success of Jesus was about um, about masses following him, okay? So this person understand how you get your product or your idea or your talent to the masses, okay? That's what I'm getting. So this is someone that is helping you to understand how to get this um, this uh, mass awareness of what you do. So you you, you you be successful, okay? This person is a man. I'm, I'm getting a lot of a man by, uh, a gentleman vibes, but it could be a woman as well. But it's very, very much um, someone that understands how to reach the masses, okay? And if it is your father... Is because your father is the one, if some of you will be your father, because your father is the one that really believes in you and forgive you whatever you have done. I mean, forgive you if you have done anything that uh, is, doesn't serve you. It's the one that you go with when you feel a little bit low. Example, now that you need to surrender, your father is the one that uh, cheers you always up. Okay, that's it. 
Okay, and I wanted to do a short reading, but it's always like, it's never short, guys. Okay, so rabbit and Pisces, energy that you need to pay attention to during this process, okay? What is the main energy? I'm not going to take it because it's like three. Storm coming, surrender, you know, you saw that. Surrender to the things that you not cannot control, surrender, mental worries, forget about it. It's all in the brain and you know that, that's why you do this reading. You know that it's all in the brain. Oh, wow. Look, I love this card. The 22, the yin and the yang balance. It's time for justice for you. It's time as above, so below. Okay? If you keep in the high vibe, which you are right now, look at the sun. If you keep in this high vibe, um, you, balance the, you balance the things that you no, cannot control. Okay? And it's that balance that is important. The balance between what you need to focus on and what you need to surrender to. That's the yin and the yang. That's the balance, guys, that you really need to pay attention to. Don't do, don't overdo it. And don't, con don't try to control the things that you cannot control. Focus on the main things. Be like a blade. Go sharp to the things that you really know that they're going to give you success, that they're going to give you, uh, you know, um, uh, the rewards okay go firstly with that with a lot of passion you have the passion you have the help okay you will reach the masses you will reach the economic success uh you will become the queen of pentacles in this month i'm talking about very literally uh you know coming month okay and 22 is a master number that's beautiful okay emotional fulfillment in whatever you're doing focus on the main things and a final message from Archangel Metatron. This is the one I want to come. Oh, look at that. Hi, guys. You're so, I'm so happy for you. Blessings and thanks. Abundant universe. Yes, the universe will give you everything that you work for because you have the integrity and the understanding of what, where you put your talent to. You know that with your talent, you will shine. You become this queen of pentacles. And it's the moment to shine out, okay? Because the universe will pay off with a lot of abundance, with a lot of avances and a solid base, as I said, and a solid avance and an abundant, abundance is yours. So whatever you're doing, 100% on the right track, you have the person that definitely is going to help you, okay? It's just a question of balancing um, balancing the things that you can control versus the things that you cannot control. And this is only mental. The rest, just enjoy, okay? Enjoy your success because uh, the environment or the current situation is helping you to get this recognition uh, faster. Okay, and this is the message for you, dear rabbits and Pisces. Hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, like, uh, comment. I love comment uh, if you feel to do so. And also, if you want a personal reading, all my details, just send me an email and I will send you all the details. And I look forward to connect with you. Thank you so much for letting me read you. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day and I cannot wait to see what are you doing. Please share some comments of what you are creating, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, talented souls. This is the goat and cancer reading, okay? Uh, you can, look, if you're a goat and a cancer, then 100% this is for you. If you're a cancer but you're not a goat, then you may check on the, you know, the Eastern, uh, the Eastern, the um, Eastern, I mean, the, your Eastern sign uh, reading as well. Um, yes, that's what I want to take. So we have all these decks. Okay, this will be your energy right now. This is the tarot cards. It will tell us uh, what's going on. Um, this is the person that is helping you. This is the energy that you need to work with the most. And uh, this is the message from Archangel Metatron. Okay, let's kick off. Okay, hope you're doing well. Keeping safe. I have shuffle. I mean, I'm doing this shuffling uh, with you because uh, I don't know. I feel to do it like that way. Okay. 
and because it's 12 signs you know that i don't want to I split uh and do like a pick a car by myself because i mean things may repeat you know if you are a monkey for example and then uh, sorry a cancer and another uh, another sign you know maybe you have a double message okay so sorry for my daughter some noise on the background okay so what is the overall i sorry what is the overall energy for goat and cancer right now lightning Oof, oh my god it's a it's a it's a it's a human figure there oh my god oh my god i love it well i love blue uh, also cancer is water sign heavy 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 uh, work on your emotions right now okay so you're working with your emotions but you are connected with heaven <laughs> because obviously it's a lighting. Okay, the vibe that I'm getting is I, I want to put a, you know an animal car to connect both. A lot of lot of healing. Oh my god, yes, that's what I'm saying. Just on my previous one, which was rabbit and Pisces, uh, if that uh, you know connect with you, the same one. Surrender now, same car. That's why I wanted to shuffle uh, in life. Because things will repeat and because people will connect the signs, uh, you know, depending on the situation. Uh, that's the way. Okay. Okay. I'm getting that you are about to... Um, there are two messages that I'm getting. Some of you are too much emotionally charged. Okay. And you need to surrender right now in the sense that you need to let go some of these emotions that are not helping you okay uh because you're go you feel like you're going to explode anytime soon you know like uh you know one of those days they say wow you know like shouting and saying like that's that's the vibe that i'm getting with you so some of you are about to explode so please surrender right now <laughs> the message from my spirit is surrender surrender chill 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 calm down calm down okay we'll see what's going on no and for others, I'm getting that you are about to strike, a strike, a massive contribution to the things that surround you that is lightning, meaning like uh, you will change something for the better good. You know, like, uh, like a thunderstorm, you know, uh, well like earth right now climbing you know like she needs help from us and you know the skies are more clean now the air is more clean so i'm getting that you are about to change something for the better good like with a lightning i mean with a lightning because it comes from your emotion it comes from your inner self it doesn't come from outside it's like you some of you you exploding in a bad way and some of you uh, uh making a sharp intervention into a situation and making it work for the better good okay the main thing is surrender now is because the ones that are really really stressed out you know you have to let go you know this stress okay please go to nature and for the others is surrender to the outcome that's what i'm getting surrender to the outcome okay let's see wow the hierophant and in this tarot deck is a woman okay and this is traditional viewpoint this is uh, the hierophant is also the amethyst um i'm ready to love and learn okay so yes learn from the situation learn from these emotions surrender to the things that doesn't work for you you know focus on the things that work focus on on you know on your um on your spirit i'm getting a lot of spiritual vibes here focus on your uh spiritual um uh you know for example if you are a catholic then go to you know watch the the church on the on the youtube if you are a you know a muslim i mean i don't know do do whatever is your traditional religion get back to your traditional belief uh, your original beliefs that's what i'm getting Get back to your original beliefs. That will help, okay? So, and learn to see the things in a different perspective. Okay, let's, let's see more clarifying. The tower, that's the lighting. You know, the, the lighting, you know, like if you've seen the cartoons, I don't know why I'm thinking in cartoons, you know, when the, when, when the lighting comes, you know, it breaks things. This is the things that you are breaking. <laughs> 
because no in two ways one is you are um let's say you you get okay I, i'm going to put more cards you know because otherwise it's like i'm going i'm going like i have so many messages knight of cups beautiful okay i will put all of them guys i'm going to put six the hermit my goodness me. <gasps> the king of pentacles oh my god And the Queen of Wands. Wow, 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 wow. And at the bottom, we have the Page of Swords. People. How many people is, is in your life right now? Oh, my God. It's the emotion. Yeah, you are about to explode. I mean, it's a tower moment. <laughs> <coughs> I'm smiling because whatever is happening, I know that it's for the better good. Okay? You know why? Because, I mean, this is like... You have so many people helping you, okay? You are the queen of wands and you are the elephant. That's what I'm getting. This is you from my point of view, okay? So this is you and this is the main people in your life that is, that is, uh, okay, that is connected to you. So I'm getting a lot of uh, emotional. I said emotional at the very beginning. Um, this is a reading about uh love guys i mean i cannot connect in this one with any situation regarding work okay i can only think about love and i'm going to i clarify that because normally i read about uh, career in your case no so you are about to explore surrender surrender to the destiny yes surrender to the destiny so go back to your meditation go back to your uh, a spiritual practice uh, go back to your knowing knowing the hierophant is like the high priesthood they know but they are more like a little bit more traditional you know in the traditional uh, view no so what i'm thinking is that you are going back to those knowledge to confront this tower moment because you are about to hit lightning meaning you are about to hit and do a change in your life okay you are about to do a change in your life uh or something is going to change and you need to let go. You need to let go the King of Cups. That's what I'm getting. You are letting go the King of Cups. Which you felt really close to. And you felt really in... I mean, someone that you really love. Okay? But the King of Pentacles has done some inner work. Has gone into the Hermit mood follow on path it's like uh for me the hermit is in this in this uh, particular deck is someone like comes you know from his heart okay is someone that really really is putting the heart uh into the situation okay and he knows that you are he knows that you are this spiritual being he's trying to raise he's trying to raise to your level Okay, so he is the Queen of uh, Pentacles, but he was not before at, uh, you know, at your level in terms of a spiritual understanding, okay, or a spiritual being. He was not connected with your personal, uh, uh, you know, situation. I mean, he was more detached, let's put it that way. More focused on the coins, less focus on the emotions. And you felt like this person was giving you those emotional fulfillment that the other, the King of uh, Pentacles was not giving to you, Okay. But you are ready to separate from this person because the King of Pentacles has done the inner work. Okay? He has done the inner work. He's sure of his place in the world. And he is someone that is coming with such a loving intention. And you see the transformation. You see this happening. And I try, I mean, I get the feeling he's really, really caring about you. Okay? And you are, um, you know, you are the queen of wands, okay? So you are the queen of wands, and you see this uh, person as someone that has transformed, okay? And um, and you are really happy with your decision. So what I'm what I'm thinking is that you are being this special sword in this situation that you need to cut this situation, okay? So surrender to this light uh, lightning surrender to this lighting because the tower moment is coming the change is coming okay because you you have gone into your spiritual understanding to get 
you know, your uh, faith back or your your knowledge to get, you know, even to the Arcast, even into a lot of meditation about your past, about, you know, like um, I see a lot of meditation. I see a lot of, uh, you know, past life regressions and this kind of things. You're trying to get back to your root and your origin to make this decision, but you are letting this skin of cap go. Okay. Um, and also he's going in that direction, you know, like in the picture. So he's going, that's why I'm getting that you are taking him out and you're welcoming him who is facing you literally, you know, he's literally facing you because he has done the inner work. He has changed. He has become a better person. He's more spiritual now. He's also concerned about your emotions. Okay. Um, he will put this effort for you. Okay. And you will be happy and so happy with your decision. You will feel renovated again. You will feel your passion again. You will not be anymore in this dark uh, energy. You will be in that bright, bright, bright energy. You see what I mean? So this is a conflict of emotion. This is you trying to extract, um, extract a change. I, I was saying you want to explode in some cases. And in some cases, you, some of you will be very sharp on making this decision. And some of you will surrender to the universe uh, on this decision. And exactly, some of you will make the decision consciously because of this awareness. And some of you will surrender and will let this person go, literally, because he will go. He will go because this guy, this guy is far more uh, advanced uh, in your connection, in your understanding. You are a better match with this person. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so these emotions, you know, it will go and you will be on the on this bright yellow happiness state. Okay? This is happening right now, guys. I'm talking about the next three to six months, okay? The next card is who is helping you, okay? With all these people, you know, who is helping you? Who is helping you in this situation, dear goats and cancers? It's a moment for the light strike. It's a moment. You know that. You will re re recuperate your energy. Your energy will be back. And this is the person that is helping at the moment or the angel or whatever. Paul the Venetian, experience grace. Yes, I'm getting that you are... On the Catholic vibes, or you go to church, uh, you know. I mean, this is a Catholic. Um, uh, this is a Catholic saint. Uh, share your gift with grace. Wave of inspiration and love are coming to you. You will experience grace in this. After this storm, and I'm getting this is again your religion is your. Uh, maybe you, 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 I mean, this is more like a, it's a spiritual guidance, okay? I'm not getting any person right now. I mean, I'm not getting any real, you know, uh, person. I'm getting a spiritual uh, focus. Uh, this is the church. This is something that you come to pray, okay? You will experience grace, okay? Inspiration and love are coming to you. Inspiration, because for you, it's really important to be inspired. You are the queen of one. You need inspiration. And this is, this is promising that... When this, when you let go this king of uh, cups, the king of pentacles is ready for you, at the level that you want, okay? At the level that you want. Okay. Next card is what is the energy that you need to work the most? What is the energy that you need to welcome the most or work the most on? Anything that support this situation? Yeah. Look at that. You're missing your inner strength because this situation is really chaotic for you. Really chaotic for you. Even you're thinking, why, why on earth I get into this craziness situation? Well, it was because something has to be learned here, okay? Or this person needed to be, to, uh, you know, go into hermit mood to become this uh, king of pentacles, to become the, the, your match, okay? So he has done the spiritual work and he's ready to give it to you and he's facing you. This one is kind of leaving you, okay? And uh, this uh, strength is who you are because you are, this is identical. Uh, you are this um, queen of wands. 
and you are an angel of strength. And what this is telling you is that this beautiful, fearless woman uh, or man, you know, it doesn't matter, is coming back to you. And that's the person that you are missing. You're missing this person. You're missing being this person. And this is going to come. And you will have the love. You will have, he say, love is coming to you. Okay. Uh, you will have all the love. You will have the right person next to you. So this lighting moment uh, is before and after. Okay. And surrender. Surrender to this process. Okay. Because you will be fine. You're very intuitive. I mean, you're very, you're very solid uh, in your belief, in your, uh, in your mind. So I have no doubt you, you and your sort of strength. I have no doubt this is like uh, when you are here, you say, "Okay, oh, this was easy peasy." <laughs> I'm getting that. You're that kind of mentality. Next one. Yes, the queen and the king in the castle. Okay, higher realms and magic number five fifty four. This is a card that is telling you that you are connected with the high. This is again, a, uh, this is because it's what you need to hear right now. This is again, this is the amethyst, you know, and the amethyst. And also we get this guy that is, you know, like also, uh, you know, uh, Grace, talking about Grace. This is what you um, need to understand. Okay. You are connected. You have the wisdom. Trust yourself. Trust your knowledge. Trust all the things that you that you have learned, okay? Uh, be open to love, to real love, okay? Um, although this person is very loving, it's not your right person. That's what I'm getting, okay? He's very nice, nice person, but he's not the right person. And um, with this one, you do more. You become this angel of strength. You become yourself. And, uh, you know, they're helping you. You can do this situation gone. Okay? And that's advice from uh, High Realms and Magic. You have the magic to overcome these things. Okay? And I hope this resonates. Please let me know. This is a reading for goat and cancer again. If uh, Please uh, subscribe, share and like. Uh, if you feel to do so, um, give me a comment. And if this resonates with you, please. That's very encouraging. And also, if you want a personal reading, send me an email and I will reply to you uh, as soon as I can. And uh, love and light to you. And thank you so much for letting me read you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Hello, talented souls. This is a reading for Tiger and Aquarius. Okay, the way that this works is that if you feel that um, if you're an Aquarius and a Tiger, then amazing. This is your reading. But if you're Aquarius and you have any other Eastern um, Eastern uh, sign, uh, animal, okay, please feel free to check on the other reading as well. Okay, so typically people will do two readings in this case, or one, if, we'll, if we combine the two at the same time. Okay, so the... Uh, all these cards are going to be used today. I'm going to shuffle with you. Um, and the idea is this one will tell the overall energy for the next uh, month. Um, this is um, a tarot deck. We will clarify the current situation. Then the person that is helping you the most, uh, the energy that is the main energy that you need to work with, and a, a message at the end from Archangel Metatron. So let's start. So hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, sorry for the noise on the back. I'm back, just telling the kids to be quiet. <laughs> okay, and um, yes, the energy. Let's start with the energy. I'm going to shuffle. I already cleaned them, but, uh, you know, just to make sure that, you know, we are, um, uh, you know, picking the right one. So one here. Okay, and then the overall energy for a tiger and aquarius overall energy tiger and aquarius this one okay so let's see oh wow wow look how wise you are you're observing you're understanding you're reading a lot you're learning you are on the mood of um you know, giving a lot of wisdom to others, uh, helping others to keep calm, 
helping others to understand that this is not, you know, it's not going to be forever. Um, you are being really, uh, you are becoming wiser because you're taking this time really to learn and to know more things. And on the other hand, you're also helping others to become, to be, you know, understanding, to, you know, to give, you, you're giving knowledge also to others. You're helping others to understand a lot of things. Maybe you're a teacher, eh? Okay. Maybe I'm getting some of you are a teacher. Uh, not all, you know, but uh, yes. And then 39, uh, if maybe it's relevant, the number, I don't know why. Okay, I'm getting that. And then, oh my, no way, no way. I mean, this is like uh, crazy, guys. Okay, this card has come in the last two readings that I did. Um, Rabbit and Pisces, Goat and Cancer. Surrender now. Ah, also it's a 39. Look at that. 39 and 39. With you, I'm getting is the Mother Spirit surrender now. And uh, 39, 39 is a, um, uh, is a 12. And uh, that's a 3. 3, 3 is, uh, you know, divine, divine number. Hmm? So in your case, what I'm getting is that you are understanding what's going on. And the surrender now is that you're helping others to surrender to the worries. You're helping others to surrender the, the you know, the, the, the stress, the preoccupation. You're giving them wisdom. You're giving them hope because you are such a wise old soul. Wise old soul. You are helping them so much. Okay, guys, and you saw that I shuffle with you. I cannot believe three times in a row, literally in a row, I have the surrender. Definitely humans at the moment, we need to surrender to the divine a lot. Okay? You also can be a spiritual teacher. Oh, I need to turn this one. You also can be a spiritual teacher. Uh, you're in a wise old soul. Spiritual teacher, teacher, uh, yoga teacher. Uh, someone that is all, I mean, all soul, very wise. Also, you're trying to learn new things right now. You're trying to understand the mysteries about why, why these things happen. But you're helping others to surrender. That's what I'm getting. Okay. We're going to put three cards here. Current situation and where we're going. Okay. Where we're going. And I need a sip of coffee. Sorry. Okay. So... Options, the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Nine of Cups, beautiful, and the Queen of Wands, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so what I'm getting is... Hi guys, sorry about that. Okay, so what I'm getting is that um, you're helping others. You're helping others to overcome a trauma. Uh, I'm not getting that this is you. I'm getting this is the things that you are facing. Okay, the two of swords, the three of swords. You say, whatever I decide, trust the outcome. I see things exactly as they are. You provide other people with the clarity to make choices, with the clarity to overcome, you know, the, the you know, to, to, uh, clarity to make choices and clarity to see the things as they truly are. Because you are the owl, you are the wise soul, you are the teacher, you are the healer, you are the person that, um, that uh, have seen things before, have seen pain before. So you help people to make the choice. Choose, uh, you know, the, choose the right thing for them, okay? And to overcome and see clarity on the pain and clarity on the, on the challenge, okay? And you, you can do that because you are able, you trust the universe, you trust what the universe has bring to you, okay? And this work that you're doing to help others is bringing you a lot of, uh, you know, um, uh, financial success. Is giving you a lot of financial success, achievement, abundance. Okay, also emotional fulfillment, a lot of emotional fulfillment. I trust in the flow of life. Yes, because you give. 
but you don't expect to get, but you get. Okay? You help people to get out of the of the of the drama. Uh, maybe you know, like uh, different. I mean, I'm getting a lot of different professions, no? But it's a lot about knowledge. It's a lot about what you know, what you have seen before. Okay, and if it is kids, because we're talking about teachers and everything, you help them to see um, to see things in a very, very uh, optimistic way. Okay, because you, you know, I mean, I have, I have this is general reading, no? So some of you work with kids or teaching or something relating to those lines, and some of you are more like a teachers and healers and, you know, with others, obviously, and you help them to move into that, and people is rewarding you for helping them. Okay, so there is an, a, a, a balance, a cycle, an spiral of giving and receiving, giving and receiving that you are in. That it gives you a lot of emotional fulfillment. It gives you a lot of financial rewards. And also, be, uh, you know, allow you to be very creative with your talent. Very creative with your talent. So at the end of this uh, process, you will have a new idea. We have a new idea of doing something in a different way. That it will be very, very... Um, be, uh, you are germinating the idea. I mean, you are... I'm paying attention to her belly. You're creating something out of this experience that it will be really amazing it will be very powerful uh, it gives you a lot of passion so whatever you are doing right now to take others out of the misery to put in the way to help others to make the decision to help others to clarify what need to be done what not to be done i'm also getting some of you are very exec uh, i mean are, let's say managers in a business okay uh, i'm just getting that as well managers in a business so you're helping people to make the decision to get out of the of the mentality of, uh, you know, of lost. And that is going to give you recognition, success, emotional fulfillment, and ignite your passion again. It's like you knowing, learning something new, understanding something new out of this, uh, you know, situation that we are living in. Okay? And that makes you wiser, but know that you are not wise. You you are wise, but it be, it, you become even wiser. So the, the most spirit here surrender now is surrender to this process of becoming this beacon of light to others, this beacon of inspiration, this beacon of understanding, this beacon of knowledge. Surrender that because that is exactly what you need to do right now. Okay. Amazing. You are very, very uh, pragmatic. And also I'm getting that you are someone that people really trust. And you're in a power, you are in a power position in your area of work. You have a power, uh, you know, a power position, meaning like um, you are very, uh, with the, I mean, very well regarded. Who is helping you right now or who you need to pay attention to? Mm. Sacred vision, yes, your vision. Your vision, this is choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries, yes. Surrender, you know, see the light in all, yes, because you see the light in everything. So this is, a, uh, this is like, um, I'm getting that you're working a lot with a lot of, uh, Okay, so a lot of your customers, a lot of the people that come to you with dra drama is females. You know, that's number one that I'm getting. The other thing that I'm getting is that um, you help them exactly to see the good side, you know, the good side on everything, you know. So everything has two sides and you help them give clarity. So we have two swords. So you help them make decisions. You help them, you know, separate, you know, um, uh, from, uh, you know, any confusion and everything. Okay. And you, you help them to understand that we are going to get out of this. And uh, for me, this is your vision. It's, sac it's sacred. It's your vision. is um, helping others to surrender to the process, to surrender to the drama uh, and let it go, you know, and embrace the, all the opportunities. And the Wheel of Fortune is movement. All the opportunities that come within this situation. And you are helping them on that process. And that is going to give you a lot of rewards economically to you. I mean, a lot of recognition, emotional fulfillment, and a new new path. Okay. 
what energy you really need to focus right now work on to take it out or work to get into more what energy envy yes <clears throat> The people that is coming to you, and also this is the two sides of the story, no? It's like uh, the duality, no? The duality that is here, the duality that is here. Look, huh? it's two, two, two sides of the story. This, although, are two light because yes, you understand that is no, that we are all connected, and at the end of the day, is that you are also. This is a this is a card that tells the story that this woman is sitting there. She lives in a castle, okay. But she and but she only focus on the castle that is in front of her instead of focusing on the fact that she lives already in a castle. So envy is an is an illusion, okay? Because we are very rich. We we have to appreciate what we have, and that's the message, you know. Like um, you are uh, helping others to understand what we have. Make clear the decision to see the real light in everything. So the energies that you're working with, yes, that you're cutting and you're helping people to get clarity. Also yourself. When you help others, you help yourself. Let's be clear. When you help others in a specific area, you help yourself. Okay? And you know that. So you're helping them to see a clarity, to surrender, to see the, that envy others and, you know, thinking all the time, yeah, yeah, others are better, others are better, is a waste of energy. Waste of energy. And you are so strong that you are the only one that helps them really, really. They trust you. They trust whatever you are saying. So keep helping these people, okay? Because they see that the old, the old times were better, the old times were better. And they're having a hard time to see what they need to focus right now, what is important. And sometimes important is to spend, I don't know, 10 hours more, you know, talking, you know, with the people rather than, you know, like um, talking with your family, Um uh, admir admiring a flower, I don't know, but you are helping them to see that there is is no is no good not to see what you already have. That's beautiful. That's a big job, eh? That's a big, big job. The one that you have. Ah, a message from Archangel Meta. This is amazing because you are connected with Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron is orange. Is a connection and attachment. You are connecting, you are receiving this message, you are really, really in tune with your spiritual being. Uh, you are getting all this message. You uh, call and Kage Metaton to help you to help these people. Okay. And um, and you are so, so strong that, I mean, you can deal with this. That's why, you know, God had put you, I mean, the Spirit had put you in that position because you can move the wheel. You know how the wheel moves and how to achieve, um, you know, the the the, the rec how to uh, how to add uh, how to be happy with what we have how to be happy with oneself how to ignite your passion and bottom line is when you do this and you help all of these people on this area okay you get so much rewards and you reignite your passion passion for life passion for what you do passion for what you believe in and namaste that's amazing Thank you for watching, Tiger and Aquarius. Sorry for the interruptions. Hope you find this reading interesting or helpful. Uh, please comment, share, like, subscribe. If you want a personal reading, send me an email. And thank you so much for letting me connect with your energy. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Hello, Dragon and Aries. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, so today the reading... Is we're going to try to cover the next three to six months, uh, something around those lines, for Dragon and Aries. The way that it works is that if you are an Aries, but you are any other Eastern uh, astrology uh, animal, then you can choose Aries and any other animal and try to see those two. If you're a Dragon and an Aries, then fantastic. And uh, if you're a Dragon and then you maybe you're a Leo, then look for the Leo, etc., etc. Okay, so the idea is... Um, I combine the both because it's uh, fun, it's interesting, and um, and yes, and let's start your reading. So we have all these decks, okay? The idea is we will see your energy with these cards. Uh, this is the tarot deck. We're going to see what's going on right now and uh, you know in the future. The person that is helping you, um, advice from Archangel Metatron, and then the energy that you need to focus on. This will be later. 
this will be later this is here and i'm going to shuffle with you because what happened is imagine if the car the car repeats and you are you know in this group and then you check on another group and the message is double or things like that so i didn't want you to pick the cards before so hope you're keeping safe okay so what is your overall energy one card here and one spirit animal dragon and aries what the spirit want to tell you with regards of current situation okay let's see mm, time in the wind mm, you're ready to strike the right opportunity you are like the wind i mean the wind you know that the wind flows or the situation flows in any direction okay and you know that <coughs> sorry <coughs> you know that there is a moment a perfect moment for a strike action okay so you know how to wait for the right moment and it's number 55 so there's a lot of change at the moment like the wind the wind is changing permanently sometimes it's slow sometimes it's fast sometimes it's like a tornado i mean the wind is changing all all the time and you're waiting for the moment to extract or to do it to, to to do something important for you and it's changed content change and uh, spirit animal we have 28 the frog spirit clear out the clutter yes this is a message for right now your energy you are clearing out like the wind you are cleaning out what is not serving you you are cleaning you clear out like the wind you're getting rid of the things that doesn't serve you you're waiting for the right time to to go out you know to a strike you are you flow like the wind also as well that's what i'm getting you are someone that can adapt very easily uh you know you adapt very easily to the current situation you have adapt very well okay uh, and um, and the frog is also always in this guy so i'm getting the i'm getting a lot that you are kind of waiting for the right moment to strike to do something i don't know what like the wind waiting for the wind to pass waiting for the storm to pass meanwhile cle uh, clearing out you know what not was not serving you but also flowing very well with the situation mm? okay Let's see three cars. Where are you right now? Three cars where you need to be in the future. And between this one, this one. Okay, so where, what's going on right now? Seven of Pentacles. Mm, nice. Eight of Pentacles. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Knight of Pentacles. Mm, nice. I'm getting that this is you next oh my god nine of pentacles seven of cups and the queen of cups no <laughs> this could be you i mean like it could be both mm -hmm. um it could be no i'm getting that you are this you are this and you're looking for this okay so Let's, let's, that's more a stronger message. So there is someone that is coming for you that really, really will charm you so much. <laughs> okay, so you're waiting for the right, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful situation. Obviously, you're worried for the, uh, we're talking about work, but there is love coming as well, okay? So there is, there is, um, at the moment, yes, at the moment, you are waiting, you know, waiting for the wind to pass, clear the things that don't longer serve you, going with the flow, taming, waiting for the right opportunity. Meanwhile, you're focusing on working very hard. You're focusing on your own craft. You're really, I'm getting that you work in a, uh, in a big, I mean, I'm getting that you work in a company uh, and you're doing, you know, like your work in the perfect way. You have been able to adapt to the to the, to the current situation. You know, I trust my idea, my direction. I dedicate myself to what I believe in, and I deserve financial security. So right now, you're doing what you know. Okay, 
You're doing what you know and you're going from the seven to the eight, meaning that you have become even better at what you, you were doing. So people, I mean, your boss and your yeah, the people that work with you is telling you, you that you're doing an amazing job. You know why? Because you go with the flow. You're not someone that really is, is, is worried too much about the current situation, the current, the current uh, challenges. You really, really focus on your own craft and you focus on your work. And that is very, very, very rewarded. And you uh, are getting a lot of financial security out of this. So you're very solid at the moment. Uh, your position is very solid. No one is going to take you out. I mean, it's a job that people, I mean, the job that you're doing is very important. Uh, it's like um, you can do it perfectly remotely. There is no worries. So you are, you know, at the moment, getting all the financial security and financial rewards that you deserve, even progressing from, from seven to eight. Okay, but you are waiting for the wind to strike because you are, uh, you know that you deserve financial security, you deserve a promotion. I'm getting the feeling that you want a promotion because we have the nine here. So the seven, the eight and the nine, there is a progression that you want to achieve right now. So you're waiting for the right timing to get to ask for this promotion, to ask for this uh, this recognition, to ask for this, uh, yes, for this recognition of your work. Okay, and this is the future, you know, this is where we're at the moment. This is what are you doing at the moment? And this is what is coming. So you will get your recognition. Because the nine of pentacles, the nine in every tarot deck is um, is the end of a cycle. I mean, it, the 10 is the end, but the nine is the recognition, is the happiness, is the individual uh, success. In uh, the nine also of coins uh, of pentacles is a card of success, of a wish fulfillment. So you will get your wish fulfilled. You will get this recognition, this promotion, this um, this reward, okay? And when you are in that position, then you kind of start thinking about love, okay? You start thinking about love. Um, the Seven of Cups also, you, you are very like the wind. You're a very mental person. That's what I'm getting, you know, like, uh, like air sign. Well, here is uh, Aries. Maybe you have some air in your uh, in your chart, no? But you are very much a spiritual person. You're very sensible. You are very intellectual, no? And you're waiting for the wind to strike to get to ask for this promotion, okay? Well, you, you have to clear the, uh, the other message about clear the clutter here. And look, look all the green here. Look all the green. Because you need to achieve this in order to find love, okay? Well, in order to come to you, the, the person that you want, okay? And this person, you know, is really, really waiting for you. So this is, uh, I'm getting is the person that is waiting for you. And she's a queen. That's why you you want to raise your game. Because you want to come into the queen with all the coins and all the success and all the, you know, the recognition that you deserve, Okay. And uh, the seven of cups is because before uh, is before getting this queen, which you will get, okay, you are uh, really um, introspective about um, your emotion. I mean, you're very intellectual. That's what I'm getting. You're very intellectual, and uh, yes, you know that you need to fulfill. You know this all this cup. You you have to have everything ready in order to go to with this queen. But this queen is coming to you. This queen is coming to you. And I'm getting that you are a little bit younger than the, the person. Let's swap gender. I mean, I don't care about gender. Uh, this person is a little bit uh, older than you. That's why you wanted to raise your game. And uh, you're waiting for the right moment to really uh, ask for this uh, recognition at work. Okay. And the moment it will come. It will come in this condition. So the idea is from the seven, you move to a nine. Okay. And then you feel more confident to, uh, you know, connect with this uh, person uh, here which give you a lot, a lot of fulfillment and a lot of happiness. Okay? That's beautiful. I like what are you doing. You're very good at what you do, okay? And the and the green is also the heart chakra, okay? So is you need to achieve this success, okay? And also look, it's, it's golden, golden, golden and green. Maybe you need, you need to work with, uh, yes, with your heart chakra, but the idea is, you need to do this process in order to reach this one. But you know how the wind, how to, to strike, um, uh, like the wind. You know, you you know when to when 
you know when to get out, okay? That's number one. And then you flow. You flow very well. So right now you're flowing in the right direction and you're, you, you, you I mean, you flow with the wind. Blowing with the wind. How many times must a man go down before you call him a man? How many roads must a man go down? Blowing with the wind. Look at the song from Bob Dylan. Blowing in the wind. <clears throat> okay, who is helping you? You're becoming a man or a woman. Hope. Oh, wow. This is the message that she's sending to you. Have hope. Okay? Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thought. Yes, because she is thinking about you. She's sending you these vibes, the vibes of love and acceptance and telling you that uh, you deserve love and you are love. And um, she really is in love with you. She's just waiting for you to kind of, you know, uh, feel confident, uh, you know, achieve your success. And because of the situation right now, you know, you, you, we know that we need to wait, no? So there is a wait here, but it's a wait... Um, that um, she's very hopeful that you will come to her. Okay? She's very hopeful. It's just clear, clear what, clear, clear, clear your vision because your vision is right. She She's in love with you 100%. And she's the person that you need because she's very nurturing, very caring, you know, very bright, very intelligent. Okay. What's the energy that you need to work with right now? Oh my God. I'm telling you, it's yellow and green. It's the heart chakra and the third chakra. Creativity, Archangel Chamuel. You need to call to Archangel Chamuel to help you to this process, to help you from going to the seven to the nine. Okay, and uh, you know, look, this is the coin. This is like uh, working with this energy. That's the, that's the chakra that you need to work right now. Okay. Maybe you do some meditation. Um... um you connect with this person through the third chakra. Both have same passions, same ideas, same things. You want to achieve similar things. Oh, I have a bee here. Um, you want to achieve similar things. Um, you're really, really connected. Okay, that's what I'm getting as well. But you're focusing on, you know, on the coins because it's the right time to focus on the coin. Is the is the right time? The win. Is not favor, favor, favorable right now to get into this person here, but it will come, okay? It will come. That's beautiful, guys. This is so, so aligned. The green and the yellow. The heart chakra and, and uh, the third chakra. I can see Chamuel. Beautiful. He's helping you. I mean, uh, you will get there. Hmm? And swap gender if you want, I mean, and swap gender. I mean, don't take gender literally, okay? But definitely I'm getting that this person is older than this one. Okay, and advice from Archangel Metatron. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is beautiful. Creation, expansion in your life. Because yes, as you create all these beautiful things for yourself, you get your recognition, you get your promotion, you get your, uh, yes, your material success. You expand your life into, uh, you know, into um, into love, and you find love, and you get love, and you expand, you expand yourself, you create new things together. You know, you are connected with the third chakra. Sex chakra is the chakra of um, of <clears throat> creativity, inspiration. It's all about that. Okay, so you will create an amazing future together as well. That's what I'm getting. Okay. You will create an amazing future together and uh, you are creating this path for yourself, which is beautiful. And also we have a three here. Um, we have a 10, a three, a 55, a change and a 10, another 10. So yes, completion of a cycle, starting with a new creative cycle, uh, you are on the right track. You are really aligned. Your third, uh, your heart chakra and your uh, third chakra are very, very powerful right now. And this person is just waiting for you and sending you love and hope. 
uh, through dreams, through um, just thinking of you, okay? Thank you so much. I hope you like this reading. Please, uh, Dragon and Aries, if you like it, please uh, share, uh, like, uh, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want a personal reading, please feel free to send me an email. Uh, and I thank you so much for letting me uh, read you, let me connect with your energy. Truly grateful. And uh, I hope to see you soon to the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, guys.